Well, what a thrilling many singles we've just witnessed. And up next is Mixed Doubles. And it's Push Arianto and Kasuma Wati of Indonesia up against Champing Soon and Go Lee Young, who is playing her last ever tournament after a very illustrious career. After that, we'll have women's singles, and I'll tell you about what that a little more in a minute because the mixed doubles uh, this as I've just told you is from the bottom half of the draw and this is uh, right at the bottom the last quarter the fourth quarter and last year's beaten champions Puavaranukro and Tevra Tanachai the former world champions are safely through in two straight games Rena as indeed Jantou, are Lisa the Ayu Commonwealth Kusumawati Games gold Indonesia. So here come the young Indonesians that caused such a sensation uh, by winning the event in Saarbrücken, a 300 event at the end of last year. Versus also Jumping reached uh, the final semi-final of the French Open the previous week and they'd been in a very commanding position. So the fans rise and cheer for Champagne soon and especially for Go Lin Ying. A big smile from Go, yes. Well, many of her fans hope that this will not be her last ever match, but it is her last ever tournament. Reformed her partnership with Champagne soon for this occasion. And my goodness, what a career they have had as a pair. Well, with their opponents uh, being much younger and not having really played the World Tour prior to the pandemic, that is not altogether surprising, is it? First meeting between these two pairs, uh, given that Champion Soon has not been playing with Go Liu Ying since 2000. They choose to receive. Which one of you serve? Who serve? This which hand? So. It is bound to be an emotional day for Go Liu Ying. Well, this young man is on a mission, I think, to try and emulate his father, who won two titles here at the Malaysia Open. But this is Lisa Kuhn's Kasumawati. 22 years of age, so she'll turn 23 on Sunday. Wouldn't that be wonderful to be playing the final of the Malaysian Open on your 23rd birthday? Long way to go before that happens. From Sleiman in the Jogjakarta region in southern Java. 172 is just under 5 foot 8. And here is the man whose father won this event twice. This is Rehan Kusharayanto. And three Kush Arianto, of course, won the title here with Minati Timor 27 and 25 years ago. He's going to turn 23 next month, born in Bakasi, West Java. And they are currently playing off their career high of number 12. Second week in total, it's their second Malaysian Open as well. Last year, they reached the second round when they lost out to the Olympic champions, Wang Yilu and Wang Dongping. So to the Malaysians who've reformed their partnership for this very special occasion. Ko Lu Ying is 33 years of age and born in the ancient city of Malacca. She and her partner have twice been in the final of the Malaysian Open. This is their 12th appearance as a pair. You have to go back to 2013 when they were first in the Malaysian Open final and they lost out to Fischer Nielsen and Pedersen from Denmark. Then in 2016, they reached the final, a loss to Tuntui Akmar and Liliana Natsi, who they then lost to in the Olympic Ready final later that year. In the semi-final, they had beaten the then reigning Olympic champions, Zhang Nang and Zhao Yunlei. 
34 years of age is Champeng Soon. And our court officials for this one from Hong Kong and Thailand. Well, I say that Champeng Soon and Go Lu Ying have had a long and illustrious career. First time they played this Malaysian Open. Uh, they lost in the qualifying 15 years ago, 2008. Uh, but they have achieved so much over the years. Olympic silver. Asian Championships gold, all England final. Two finals here, Commonwealth Games, bronze. A couple of quarter finals at World Championships and 25 career finals as a pair in the mixed doubles discipline, having won 12 titles together. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chang Bang Soon and Go Liu Ying, Malaysia. And on my left, Lisa Ayu. Mawati, Rihan Nafel, to Shachanto, Indonesia. For Liu Ying to serve to Rihan Nafel, to Shachanto. Love all, play. So Go Li Ying and Chan Peng Soon nearest to us as we look down on the court against Kusharyanto and Sunyanto. Love. Fitting, I think, Steen, that Goli Ying has teamed back up with Champeng Soon for Go's last ever tournament. Anyway. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a really, really uh, nice um, love. way to say goodbye to uh, all the fans. Oh. for a double hit there, Three, I think, the love. Indonesians. No, I don't think that was a double hit. Must have been earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been, should have been immediate. Oh. Nicely done. Service over. One, three. Well, former world number threes, Champeng Soon and Go Li Ying, that's an indication of the consistency at the elite level that they managed to reach in their careers. And also, Steen, uh, five times finished the year ranked six or higher on the Super Series or World Tour rankings. So they really were an incredibly consistent pair. They were. They were. Seven over. Four, one. Always reads the game so well. Golden Ying. Yeah, I thought in her heydays she was the uh, best female oh. player at the net, not necessarily in the front court. Seven over. Two, uh, four. The few who could challenge the greats of Diana Nazia, Zhao Yule, and Wang um, Chong. They're one of only two pairs to have beaten uh, Zhang Siwei in this arena here. Three, Chen Song four. and uh, Go Liu Ying. So, um, really, really strong when um, they get on the attack. That wasn't at the Malaysian Open, though, was it? No, I think it was Malaysian Masters. Yeah. Touch it or what? If she didn't touch it. Well, the umpire says no, she didn't touch it. Five, three. Let's have another look at that. It was an extraordinary defense from Go. Oh, yes, she did touch it. She did touch it. 
Watch the deflection of the shuttle. Yeah. But so uh, lesson to the Indonesian youngsters: never stop playing. Yeah, that was clearly a double hit. And look at the smile. Yeah. When she turns around. Yeah. Never stop playing the rally though until the umpire has made a call. Number four, five. Four, five. Seems a little off the pace for the Ying in that last rally. Absolutely nothing wrong with that drive, though, was it? Perfect over. But yeah, she's, Six, she's been trying five. to play with different partners and it hasn't really uh, turned out successful. Any of it. Weak knees clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the founding Seven. member. Yeah. <laughs> the, honorary, <laughs> the honorary president. But I, I read somewhere that, that she had uh, fluid um, uh, tap from her knee ah! regularly. Wow. Yeah, 
interesting champion suit turned the drop that had been played in front of goal. Oh, yes. Steen, you were in Saarbrook and weren't you? I was. Yeah, because that was Eight, the most magnificent yeah. sort of comeback by Hushariyanto and Kasuma Wati after their bitter disappointment the previous week or when in Paris in the semi final there'd been a game and 12-5 up against Tarbellin and Peak and then promptly lost 16 oh. of the next 17 points and ended up losing the match. Coming Lisa, back next I week, uh, they actually yeah. win the whole tournament. Oh. Yeah, they played really well. They had a little bit of faster playing conditions in um, Saarbrücken, just like we have here. Uh, there's a challenge. Yep, first challenge of this match. decision on almost as long as the mid-game interval. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Challenge on it is a service error. One challenge remaining. So now we start the mid-game interval. 11-8 interval. Three-point advantage for the former world number threes. Court one, 20 seconds. I think this is also her last tournament as coach for the independent players. We saw her. 11, 8, plus. That's a bad word. It's a better word. Air through the throne, Rosman Rasak involved in coaching uh, yesterday. Called long. Service over. 9 11. That's a good shot. Oh! Yeah, across the body towards the yeah, left hip it. of Golu Ying. And I suppose that's uh, one thing that we've uh, noticed a lot over the years, isn't it, Steen? That uh, cross of uh, the smash across the body of Golu Ying has often had the desired effect for. The person smashing. Yeah, she was committing to her forehand mm. defense here. I mean, she's never really been physically strong. Oh! It's also uh, oh! one of the things that has sort of, oh. um, been a problem for her following the uh, Rio um, Olympic silver medal that 
being put on the back court. Uh, she was struggling, she tended to struggle. She was very, very good at, at getting herself to the front court. But of course, as, as people got more and more video and more and more plans on how to cope with goal. that. This well, is an absolute beauty hello. from Champion Soon. Look at that. What a super shot. Yeah, I think uh, more people, because I always thought she was tactically very astute goal. And I, I think that was, you've already alluded to, to the fact that when she was pushed to the back, she could make her way forward very economically. Uh, and she needed to do it very quickly. Yeah. But after the Olympic uh, final, it became more and more of a problem to do so. Yeah, so either she should have become much stronger physically or Chen Ping Sun should have been better at the low services because, I mean, when they had the attack, this pair, in their heydays, they were losing. Yeah. Forehand defense. The first time was okay, but the second time, Chris Ayanta got that little bit of uh, angle in towards the middle of the body. Oh, another nice block. Oh, he tried a third one. It didn't work on that occasion. The champion soon. And for the first time in this opening game, the Indonesians go into the lead. Other champion soon has also uh, once again gone independent. He's gone independent again, yeah. Had a couple of years back with BAM. changed all their partnerships haven't they yeah apart from well obviously the independent players uh, uh, are still as they were top two players i'm referring to of course thank you oh great defense from kasuma wati Crouching down. Look at that driving the shuttle back. Now, if she hadn't bent her knees and crouched down low, she wouldn't have been able to play that. Yeah, these two, Chris Ayanto and Chris Mawati, they're playing with a new coach because their old coach is now coaching Bams next up, who's the young ones. This New pairings that they've made, so uh, no yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, lots of things happening in the mixed doubles department in Malaysia and Indonesia.
close down the midcourt area well. 17, 15. 15. playing with the drift and they cannot apply too much power in the flat game. Let she wasn't ready. Go. beautifully. Almost certainly the longest rally of the match, too. Malaysians having to weather the storm earlier on in that rally, to defend well. There's the cheer like we're listening to right now. That's the cheer that Go Liu Ying wanted to experience for one last time. Yes, longest rally by some considerable margin. Yeah, and it's the, you know, athletes when they do finish whatever sport they are competing in, they miss that adrenaline rush of the fans cheering and the atmosphere. Exactly. Still so much winner instinct in Nicole Liu Ying that she was a little bit pissed that she missed that one. Yeah. Oh, I wonder whether she just strained her back there. Did you see that, Steen? I didn't see it, but I, I saw her uh, holding her back, and yeah. um, that didn't look good. It's a very tight opening game. 18 all. Brilliant. Still reads the game so well. Knew where that shuttle was coming before it had even left the racket 18. of her opponent. And she was onto it like lightning. Green <laughs> point opportunities. Time former finalists here at the Malaysian Open. The home favourites, Chan Peng Soon and Go Li Ying. Opening game. 
21-18. And for those who thought they might be witnessing those last ever match, I think again she might be playing tomorrow. Four minutes for the opening game. <laughs> Total ya, mix, total mix. Jadi dia buka aman-aman aja kamu bisa ini. Kamu sini mau maju mau ketinggalan terus. Jagain aja mix ya. Oke. Got one twenty seconds. Got one twenty seconds. So the second game gets underway. Champion Sun and Go Liu Ying winning that thrilling opening game. 21 18. Obviously, we didn't understand anything that Rioni Manaki was saying to the Indonesian players. But what, what do you think they should be trying to do? Well, they've got to um, they've got to be in control of the rallies. And here on the near side of the court, they have the advantage that they can they can play the back court of the Malaysians more freely. But, but on the other hand. That's not necessarily a good plan unless you can play it with some kind of pressure or at least Three, uh, flat uh, shots, flat drives to the uh, backcourt because in the attack, Chan and Go, they're just very, very good. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, Chan's smashes get a little bit extra bite here. Yeah. So, so if they don't manage to put any kind of pressure on the Malaysians, um, then they're going to have difficulties in, in um, surviving in defense. And I also think that um, Kusumawati, she's, she's not used to, uh, I think she's used to having a better chance at the net against her female opponent. And, and here, she's, she's most of the time is getting beaten. She did well there, though. And then again, we saw in the first game that, that um, Kushayanto and Kusumawati, whenever they had the attack, they didn't just put it away. So, so I think it looks a little bit um, dangerous for the Indonesians. And whilst we've been talking, they've uh, fell behind 5-0. Um, so service situation there. Got to get nice. out of it well, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think they need to do perhaps a little bit more that of that, of trying to move One, Go Lu Ying. Yeah, exactly. I mean, drop that. it in front for push, push her first, and make her go back to the midcourt area yes. at least, and then block in front of her. And uh, every time they serve at her now, 
Definitely. So up against the drift, Flick. Get her away from the net while she feels confident. So she's winning all of those service situations, or like 90% of them. Yeah. Don't try and hit it through her. Service over. Six, one. That I, I think they need to go on the attack because it also becomes more difficult for, for Go and uh, Chan to lift, so he might get some better options. Um, uh, and Joy. Three, six. And then eventually get some variation in with some clears to uh, go, and if um, there's good defense, then use these flat drives. Um, long line. There was the flicker. Yeah. And there's the drop. Yeah, good variation. Four, yeah. six. Good variation. And and Gu Liu Ying simply couldn't push off and react to that drop shot. No. no. That's a good serve. Yeah, well played by Champing Soon. Serve it over. Seven, and they've, they've played well so far, and that's nice to see that they, uh, whether they go out tomorrow or uh, today or whenever they go out of this tournament, they go out with a nice level. It's not like uh, yeah. they can't compete. They definitely can compete. Perfect. Play from Kasuma Wati. swing after being down 5 nothing. Much better than now. Yeah. Actually got helped by the neck board there, the Malaysians. Neck board from nine. their opponents. Nine, no, I beg your pardon, it was the neck board from Champing Soon. Go Ying to come forward with that shot. 
Michelangelo. those situations that you were talking about earlier of getting Go Lin Ying to the back of the court. Didn't even have to really move her. No. It was like she wanted to sort of say, okay, once in a while I smash. Yeah. I don't always come forward on the first one. Oh! Okay, so that was what he tried before. That was that shot he tried. Tried to get deception on it when uh, Go came forward and made a mistake. Well, that was perfect from Kusharianto. Look at this. It's the top of the tape and trickles over, but the intent was there. The disguise drop shot was exactly what he was trying to play. <laughs> and that was perfection. Oh! Well, I think if he walked up to the net, he wouldn't have been able to play that any better and just no. held the shuffle and <laughs> tried to tipple it over. Five down, the Indonesians, Kusharianto and Kusuma Wati, have a two point advantage at the mid game interval. Wonderful comeback. again. I don't think he's missed an amazing open since I was playing. No, but he's, he's getting uh, new suits. Fan in Indonesia as well, that's Mr. Yanto. That's right. Oh, yeah, that's a great ah! shot from uh, Kusha Yanto. 12-9. And they're doing what you uh, suggested, Jill, playing in front of um, Golu Ying, trying to get it below the tape in front of her, sometimes not even pushing her up to the back. Well, this is a run of six straight points now. Yeah, so they're basically 13-4 up from when they started scoring in this uh, second game. Down 5 nothing. Yep. Uh, that's clever. That was just a half smash from Kushiarianto affects the timing on the defence, and it certainly did on Go Li Ying. Finally, the run of points Seven comes to an end. Ten, That's seven straight points. It's put a very different complexion on this second game. Wait. Ace. 
that is not often awesome. we see that in the lows from uh, Chen Peng Soon. No. She stepped into it, took it early. And look how the racket head just guides the shuttle across court. drift in that direction left to right and it's, it's uh, different from court two which we're sitting directly behind there it's right to left so it's very very tricky Service error. Well, I think a couple of years ago we were questioning the low serve of Champagne Soon. He seemed to have been serving very well of late. I think it helped him with the new service rule where his racket could be, it didn't have to be in a downward pointing direction. Yeah. There's the change of pace we've both been talking 19, about. 50. Two points away from the second game. Ush Arianto and Kasumawati. Game point opportunities. Five 20. of them. To level 50. this first round encounter at one game apiece. Oh, one yeah. game all. 
21.15, the response from the young Indonesians. After losing the opening game, well, what has Chan Peng Soon and Go Lu Ying got left? This is the final rally of the second game. And it's one game all. the umpire calls for the start of the third and deciding oh. game. Well, that's an ominous start by the Malaysians. Error on the return of serve. body language of the Indonesians now, Steen, looks very positive indeed, doesn't it? Yeah. They've got better knowledge of their opponents now. Oh! 
because they, they've never played them. That also goes for the Malaysians, but the Malaysians, they have... A wealth of experience. Exactly, exactly. So um, now they know what they're up against, and they know that uh, they're finishing on the better end for them. And um, yeah, this could be Golo Ying's last match. Turn. That seemed to crawl Seven up minute minute before it tumbled over. Seven, I mean, three. Had she got it back, the goal, then Kusumo Ati would have been more ready for it. This, she knows now that most of the times Goli Ying will challenge back, even though you've played a really good shot. Eight, three. Serving the top so of um, Kusumo Vati now. Cheers. Yeah. yeah, indeed she did. I think we missed it, but that's not correctly at the pause, and yes, she did use the ball. So. Playing with the drift, I know from. Uh, talking to some of the Danes that sometimes they can't use the tumble serve when playing up against the drift because they have to hit the serve a little bit harder and then the tumble serve doesn't work so you can only use it uh, playing with the drift it's a little bit dependable on the uh, uh, brand of the uh, shovels Happening in double quick time now. I was just going to say, we're hardly seeing any long rallies at all. A wonderful rally, 43 shots we had in the opening game. Nothing like that anymore. Yeah. And already, we're at the mid game interval. A seven point advantage for Kush, Arianto, and Kusuma Wati. So the players till 20 seconds, and I wonder if we are just beginning to witness the end of an era. One of the most consistent pairs in world mixed doubles for the past decade. 11, 4, flat. It's always sad when an era comes to an end, but what we've got to hang on to is the wonderful memories we've got of Champeng Soon and Go Liu Ying playing together. That Olympic silver medal. He warning them final. Commonwealth Games, bronze medal. Wonderful achievements, aren't they? But it is, I feel a little sad that I'm not going to see the the grace and the poise of this lovely lady on a badminton court perhaps ever again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, think, it, I think the time is right. We, we've seen yes. her here and, and she can still play. Five, she can still play well. very well. And um, that's, that's, that makes it easier to uh, preserve the memories of the good times. I think yeah. also they won the first World Tour Mixed Doubles 13, Tournament. In, um, the Tour was renamed from the uh, Grand Prix yes, premiere. Cool. That was the Thailand Masters, it, wasn't it? It was. 300 event. <laughs> yeah. 14, five Super Series tournament finals, winning just one. That was Japan Open in 
2012. Four World Tour titles. The list of achievements is quite extraordinary. now for Ush, Arianto and Kusuma Wati. cross-court guided <laughs> shot like that, so flat over the net. Look at that, that's yeah. wonderful from Kasuma Wati. Oh. Yeah. They're a spent force now, the Malaysians. Resign to defeat. away from a place in the second round for Kushi Arianto and Kusuma Wati. Match point opportunities. 20. Match point six. Victory for Kushiarianto and Kasuma Wati. 18-21, 21-15, 21-7 in the deciding game in a match lasting four minutes shy of the aisle mark. And for Goli Ying, the end of her playing career. Stated that she would retire after the Malaysian Open. Well, while we're watching the replay, I can tell you that Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying were thanking the fans. Emotional time for Go. Yes, the photographers want one final photograph. One for the album. One to tell the children about. Give Go Liu Ying is lucky enough to go on and have a family. What a list of achievements, the Olympic silver medal in Rio in 2016. Europe, the Asian champions in 2010. Two medals at the Southeast Asian Games, a bronze and a silver. A bronze in the Commonwealth Games, 25 career finals winning 12 titles together, one Super Series and four World Tour titles. Well, a lucky fan will get the last racket of this delightful mixed doubles player. She's graced the courts for so long. She has always played such an intelligent 
wonderful a game of badminton tactically astute and no wonder that she's feeling a little emotional all the fans around the world myself included will miss seeing Go Li Ying on a badminton court happy retirement Welcome back to Kuala Lumpur. It's day two of competition here at the Petronas Malaysian Open for 2023. The first of the HSBC BWF World Tour events, and it's the first time the Malaysian Open has been a Super 1000 event, the highest of the World Tour events. Well, next up, after the mixed doubles, we turn our attention to women's singles. And what a match we have here. 